Choose your fighter. Lady Inspired. After the whole dragon tears thing, is Impa like back in uh, her village? How are you feeling today, Casey? I am very tired. I am very tired. So remember that fragment I had? The one that showed a single mysterious figure? Found more fragments among the things our survey team brought. If you're tired of me, Andy, sorry I had to. Andy, do you want to hear about a three-part dream that I had? <sighs> it was very intense. All three parts were. Um. Well, the first part was like... The first part was, like, where I live, they had, like, a giant coliseum. But in that coliseum, um, there was, <laughs> uh, Dave Navarro going back on, um, four. And so, like, where I live, like, this, the city was just packed and everyone was, uh, gonna go. Or the majority of people in this city, like, wanted to go. And, like, I couldn't. For some reason. In my dream, I just, like, couldn't. Um, but then there was, like, like, someone turned into, like, a beast thing. Almost like a big cat. And, like, the rest of the dream, or the rest of that section was them, like, just outfoxing all of the guards and going up against this, like, Col this huge coliseum and uh i don't know it was it was very interesting um i think eventually the person who could transform into the like giant cat thing so it <laughs> sounds like something um like, I think as soon as he, like, got through the gates and people were, like, chasing him. So, it wasn't, it wasn't me, but I got, like, first-person perspective. So, it was, like, fun, I guess, to see, like, jumping around and everything like that. Um, the second part of my dream, it, and then the, it just ended. I didn't get to see the aftermath, like, that person enjoying the concert or anything. It just sort of ended, as dreams do. The second part of my dream was someone had, like, sold me a building, um, but the attic was- well, the building itself was in kind of, like, disarray, and it was supposed to be- I had been promoted to a job of some sort, and the attic was filled with these, like, fucking weird dolls. Um, there were, I want to say there was about, like, ten of them, but they were kind of behind this, like, barrier or this, like, caution tape, and the owner told me, it's like, oh, like, don't, don't go over there, don't worry about that, um, that floor is, like, super unstable, um, but we're having people, like, fix it, so I just wouldn't step foot on it or anything like that. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, I just won't. Um, as a benefit for the job, they gave me this fucking creepy doll companion. Uh, it was around, like, four feet tall. And, it, I don't know, it kind of looked like a mix between, like, a Raggedy Ann doll. Like, a four-foot Raggedy Ann doll. And Samara from The Ring. With, like, bulging eyes. Um, and the doll was very, very jealous um, of me, like, talking to other people. And I would see, 
I think I had blue eyes, but if I was like talking to other people, it's like eyes would go black. But how oh, Taylor would be jealous. But um oh hell. Yeah, so um I was like sub I was in my dream just like, okay, how the fuck do I get rid of this thing? And the owner the previous or the person showing me the uh the place was like, oh yeah, you know, don't don't worry about it. Um like they'll just they'll just help you, right? Or she'll just help you. Um I'm like, oh fuck, okay. <laughs> so I'm going around with this doll, and then I believe in the dream it was like a two days later where I got introduced uh to another helper named uh Angie. Oops. And Angie is just the doll straight out of Resident Evil 8. <laughs> if any of you seen that doll. Um and with Angie, Angie was a lot more talkative. She was a lot more... How do you remember so much? <laughs> yeah, like, Angie was a real VP, okay? She helped me with a lot more. And so I was just like, instead of just staring at me. And so I'm just like, oh, thank you so much, Angie. And I needed to find a way to get rid of the, like, Raggedy Ann doll. So behind, like, the caution tape, I saw that there was, like, a little child's child size piano set like a toy set so i'm like oh um why don't you just like sit down there and it, you'll look really cute okay it'll look like you're playing the piano and um like she did it but then like i turned my head but you know in a dream you can see everything but her eyes would like go black when I looked away from her just, like, sitting there. Um, and turns out, it was at that moment in the dream where, uh, there was, like, a, a voiceover? I don't know whose voice, but there was, like, a voiceover of, set that bitch on fire, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, Angie was really happy that I... Uh, put that Raggedy Ann doll behind the, uh, the caution tape, because now, like, she would get all the attention for being a helper. But also, the dolls that I mentioned earlier that were in the attic already, um, they were, the reason that they were behind caution tape wasn't because of the floor. Uh, I got a flashback on how those dolls used to be people, but they were like serial killers and they were like, they had like red marks on, some of the dolls look like um, dolls from like, don't hug me, I'm scared. So stuff like that. And they each had like this like red paint on them. <laughs> they each have red paint on them, but that was supposed to demonstrate how they used to like, do that to people, right? And then as punishment, they got transformed into dolls and then uh, were kind of just put in this place. Um, so that whole narrative was explained to me. And then that leads to Angie... Um, uh, it was like fast-forwarding in time. Angie telling me that, uh, the place is no longer safe and that there was going to be, like, a fire at any moment. And that's when I was like, oh, shit, okay, this, this place was entrusted to me. I have to get, like, I have to get everything out despite the fact that the floor is unstable, right? And then that's when the dolls that supposedly were on the unstable floor started jumping out the window trying to escape the fire and then that's where my dream did <laughs> I don't know what I ate before bed <laughs> to really have something like that
giving melatonin dreams. There was also a brief part where Geralt, or something, someone who I think looks like a realistic Geralt was in my dream. He was, it was just like a barren wasteland after, it was like either before, it was like a weird in-between section. And he just goes like, uh, he, I just see him sit by the fire, he's like, I'm freezing, and then it just like cuts to something else. I'm just like, what the hell was that about? My blur will is featuring my dreams. I don't know. I don't know what any of that means. I have been watching One Piece where the main doesn't happen often. It's always real short, but it brings me joy. I... <laughs> God, what? Lucid. I pretty much have lucid dreams more often than not. It's not... <laughs> It's rare for me to not have one, so. I, I have no idea what shit this was. Okay. Oh. Raise your eyes upon this amazing mural. The scene shows that there's a whole series of statues down there, like the one you found for me last time. But what really caught my attention is the way they're oriented. Uh, each figure is pointed toward the next one in the series. Till it ends with that last a statue facing the final destination, a building that looks like a temple. Hmm. Also, those large ears on the figure at the front of the building, that's about to be one of the Zonai. And there is that strange hand symbol that seems to be responding to whatever the Zonai is doing. Uh -huh. So, to collect my thoughts on all this, Pretty sure if you follow the gaze of each of the statues down there, you'll reach that structure. Also, betting that the temple-like building holds something of Zonai origin. I've heard that the Zonai wielded mysterious powers. I wonder if this correlates with those powers. Of course, all of this is uh, still just speculation on my part. <laughs> I want you to find the temple structure depicted in the mural. Initially, I figured I could just go myself, so I gathered a bunch of uh, bright blooms and supplies. Aww. But they pulled the kid card on me and said I couldn't go into the depths, so here. Uh -huh. I have dreams like that for a really, really long time. And I still do get those dreams. I think now that I'm not in a toxic household, I get less of those dreams. Just tell me you already found the temple and what was in there. Huh. The ability to instantly replicate things you built and scheme of stones. Oh. So there really was a Zonai temple housing mysterious power down in the depths. Huh? And that may also mean that some kind of uh, that some of the things collected from the depths may give us other clues. Wait here just a sec. For my dreams, I had to bury my entire family with me being the only one left alive. I don't know why I always dream like that. That sounds like the beginning of Little Hope. <laughs> oh, yay! There, uh, uh, belongs to goggles, but it's broken right now. Do you think you might be able to fix it with auto build? So exciting. I want to see it in action pronto. I'll go prepare really quick. I have nothing to do it with. There. What? It 
it's made! What's the difference? Whatever. I can't do this quest. Oh, there is a side quest I wanted to do. But, uh, I don't know. Okay, fine. We'll go down to the depths, get some ore, and then we'll do this really quick. Okay, so there might be some more over there. I'm here. I will go ahead and wear these pants. Yeah. I look like I'm ready for battle. Okay, you're preparing for battle, Andy. What do you do first? in the cheek.
All that for just mining materials. <laughs> this is what it was like in uh, California in the 1800s. Um, that auto build stuff. Well, I guess it makes sense. But I didn't realize it was part of uh, the main story. Lay down and beg for mercy. So, if you were in Lord of the Rings and you were fighting, God, I forgot. What's that place called? Uh, when they were like backed into, they're back into a corner, and then Gandalf is like, wait for me, Helm's Deep. Yeah. So, in preparation at Helm's Deep, you would lay down and beg for mercy. Theory's power goes beyond scientific explanation. I'd be like, please, I can't die now. Elden Ring DLC comes out in two to three months. Please spare me. Hey! <laughs> just, just the guy and like the art, the whole, the sea of works. Just like, can we just get along? Must be the mysterious power of the zone I had. I never thought I'd see such a marvel with my very own eyes. Thank you for making this a reality. Please take this. I've been saving it for a special occasion. Still haven't been able to figure out what it that is. But judging from that light, it's got to be zone in origin. Since you can use zone powers, I think it would be better for you to have it. There was an incredible power lying hidden in the depths after all. I think I'll keep researching the depths looking forward. Who knows, I might just find a clue about Princess Zelda. Make any new discoveries in the devs, please let me know, swordsman. Hey! Oga, the leader of the Yiga clan, was there? Oh, this is dangerous. Okay. I've got to regain my composure. Okay, come this way. I love how you just had to explain that you just breeze through all this shit. Oh, 
Even so, that's one less danger for the princess. I'm not surprised you did this. You're the swordsman. Be hard to work here with my research into the depths. Just come let me know if you find anything out. I really appreciate you fixing up my balloon. Ultra thanks. That auto bill thing is pretty darn amazing. Hmm, I should have uh, a good thing about all the practical uses of that someday. Oh, that reminds me. Listen up. Big update here. Uh, your pure pad can be equipped with a sensor that detects shrines. Come on, act more impressed. I'm the one in, in all of Hyrule who noticed the shrines after the upheaval, so I created a sensor to detect them. Only thing is, I can't set it up here at Lookout Landing. Uh, which Pure and I developed. Uh, once I'm in that lab and you join me there, I can further improve your, pur your Pure pad, starting with the sensor. Find the lab in East Nicula. Okay. I know where it is. Wow. I did this whole game backwards. <laughs> I'm glad I can go to the research lab now. Oh, Andy, did you ever watch that, uh, Dark Tark video I sent? About, uh, Elden Ring lore? How long ago was that? I mean... It was probably like... Two months ago? Three months ago? I think I dem- I think I DM'd you direct- uh... Yeah. I don't know. I know one time, um, you sent me, like, some- I, you sent me a video about, like, Halo or- no, Fallout. You sent me a video on Fallout. And this- this guy who does Elden Ring, I don't know. I think you might like the humor. Kind of reminded me of that Fallout video. Makes me wonder if he's going to discuss the lore when, uh, the DLC comes out. A random ladder here. Oh, what a pleasant morning. Hey, you. The Pure Pad Laboratory is ready for us to do some great things together. First, let's get that sensor up and running. I guess I've been playing it the hard way. Now let's install that sensor for you. How about we walk around the lab to test out how it reacts? is reacting to something right here and now. It reacts when you're moving forward a shrine. The sensor must be detecting a shrine down the slope in front of the lab. Is there really one that close by? It must be, because my creations are perfect, unless they get broken in some way. Now, why don't you go check the slope in the direction that the sensor was indicating?
Does it not work if you already completed the shrine? Come on. Guys, it's Noodle Boy! Oh! Oh, Ashes. I saw... Depends on if you want to be spoiled or not. But I saw one of the most fucked up things in this game. The other, like, I think it was two or three streams ago. If you want to hear it. So, oh, wait, maybe, okay, I don't have to. I don't have to describe it to you. I'll just go ahead and play this. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. Minoru, I'm counting on you. Restore the master sword for you. I will care for it until the time comes. 
will pour my sacred power into it. It will be the weapon that defeats the Demon King. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. He became a noodle boy of light. But yeah, one of the more fucked up things I've seen. I want noodles now. <laughs> yeah, that's not this one, but... OMG, me too. <laughs> I thought I should show you that scene instead of me describing it. Because, dude, when that happened for the first time, I was, uh, not okay. I think it's her eyes that freaked me out the most. Looks like a butt.
my god. Getting weapons in these chests are so bittersweet. It's like, it's like if a little kid is generous enough to be like, here, have this. Uh, like, peanut butter cup. It's like, I can't have it because I'm allergic. But thank you. Oh my god, there was a, there was a little girl the other day who, um, she's like four or five. No, she's six. She's six, because she told me. Um, she gives me a penny, and I'm just like, oh, thank you, sweetie. And then she gives me, like, uh, more change, and I'm just like, oh, thank you. And she's like, I like giving away money. <laughs> And then she hands me, like, like, a handful of change that's almost spilling out of her hand. And she's like, this is for you, too. And I'm, I'm just like, where is she getting this? She's like, she's like elbow deep in her mom's wallet, like, getting change. <laughs> oh, like that. And in that moment, I'm just like, is this how Will sees me? <laughs> Oh. Oh, she was hilarious. And, uh, her name is Mackenzie, and she's six years old. <laughs> oh, she was, she was great. That brightened up my day. Right in the snow. <laughs> Back, you little bastard. Oh, be gone. Link doesn't believe in going around. Lee, Link believes in three answers. <laughs> My design of the sensor is beyond perfection. Just listen to its sounds and you'll find your way to that nearby shrine. I expect nothing less from you. Anyway, how, do, how about the sensor? Handy, huh? I expect nothing less from me. Well, I've told you what you need to know about that sensor, but I fear it's gone in one year and out the other. So hang on a minute. I'm gonna be honest. I mean, I understand why the sensor's there. I don't really care for it. <laughs> I think it's just that, like, constant ringing or whatnot that gets to me. <laughs> it's no, nowhere near full capability yet. It's even better than some features. Include the most essential one, the travel medallion feature lets you set up gates for instant travel anywhere. Hero path mode, finally sensor plus. I can find two of my prototypes. Uh, 
Travel? What's Hero Paths mode? For this, there's a tracking feature called... Tracking feature installed on the Hero Pad. Uh, that's some big gnome energy. energy. Hero's Path mode lets you see this feature on screen. It's a brilliant system that lets you see the exact path you've taken. Before I can install the prototype uh, perfectly, I'll need to get data from 15 shrine locations. I love how its glasses move. Also, can we just appreciate, look, okay, he's talking right now, but look at the definition in Link's legs. Those muscles. He's got a hams for days. Uh, uh, Indistan, uh, Akala, it's up to the Northeast Marine Plantation Technab, which is also my home. Uh, it's that's where my prototype of the travel medallion feature is. I started work on it back there. I got that myself, but word is that some dangerous trespassers have made themselves at home there. That's why I like to have it with you. With all great talents, go there and fetch my travel medallion prototype. Wow, maybe I shouldn't have ignored all these important features uh, at the beginning. I can't uh, add my prototype without some extra data. Fill out your commitment with at least five types of monsters. Oh, you can grab their attention the old way you want and snap a picture on the fly. Did you hear anything else about my- oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Five types of monsters, eh? Hey. Yes. What, do you see an old man out walking? You assume he's got nothing but free time? I might not seem busy to you, but taking care of Coco's that Tamina uh, left in my care is a big part of my day. I thought I'd help her out a bit now that her husband's gone to do his part over at Lookout Landing. Every day I take the Coco's up. Uh, who goes on a walk up the hill to here? <laughs> this laboratory is mostly used by a pair of researchers, Pierre and Robbie. Never used it for a long spell, but now it seems Robbie's back. Better find where I put those earplugs. Okay. Monsters cannot be far.
I know there's gonna be a Korok on this island. I just know it. Oh god. <laughs> that was really loud. Oh my god. It looked like I just took silly string. Wow, I'm really not like uh I just go all over the place, eh? How do you get out of hero mode? Go. No. I can find monsters here, yeah? Maybe? Oh my god, turn around! I need a better photo. Dude, it's like he's saying sup. With his cheeks and everything. other wait a second oh there we go now which one did i do the cheeks one or the electric one electric one. Do they have any... Oh. Ah. Okay, they don't have any red ones. Ah! Okay. They don't 
don't have any red ones here, I don't think. I like the music for um, this place too. Oh, come on, there's like lizards all over the place. And then as soon as I actually need to look for them, they're just gone. Okay, I know that there's a group over here. Like, I think it's a red boss. Bob... Bok... Bokolin? I would say Bob... Bob Clin. I'm sorry, Bull. Wait! Wait! <laughs> Cheeks. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. I can try and see the goddamn Gleok. Whoa. It was stuff like this. 
the hollow tree. I just always think like, what did it look like when it was like alive and well? Okay. And then I'm sure I thought that they were supposed to be red Bacalins here as well. We'll see though. Oh, thank God. Ah. <laughs> Hasn't changed my mind. We're still going to do the Gliok. Nobo just has like the tiniest feet for his body. Sir. Sir, can I take your picture? Son, I am leaving the fuck out of this area. Not going to deal with that, no, no. <laughs> Got all that data. Okay. Ooh. A compendium database. It's got everything you could possibly want to find details about. I oh, guess it's all there. Creatures, monsters, materials, equipment, and even different kinds of treasure. For the perfect collection of what you might uh, one day achieve in your own Hyrule compendium uh, on the Pura pad. Curious, I invite you to access that database and see it for yourself. Oh yes, I should prepare operation uh, instructions for this feature too. Hang on one. Hang on a minute. Not your perfect, it still doesn't have all the available features, so don't forget that. Okay. Um, I am gonna take a quick break, but I'll be right back.
Alright guys. I think this is where I'm going to end it for today. But I wanted to end it with uh, Onyx saying goodbye. Um, I will be streaming tomorrow. I'll be streaming around like 6 or 7 or so. And we will be continuing um, doing stuff that we should have done at the beginning of the game. So, yeah. Real gamer. Okay. But yeah, thank you everyone who chatted with me today. Thank you, Andy Ashes, 92Z. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye!